On Thursday, we found out that the U.S. initial jobless claims came in worse than forecasts for the second week. The U.S. GDP fell at a 5% rate in the first quarter, and the worst is likely to be on the way. The U.S. trade deficit in goods widened, but core capital goods orders rebounded in May. So it's not all doom and gloom. The UK retailers remain pessimistic over near-term outlook, though, as per the CBI survey. Welcome to the Tickmill Update. I'm Kenna Daniel, the founder of the Investiva Movement. Make sure to subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your Forex trading friends. Uh, Friday, we'll be eyeing the US PCE price index and Michigan consumer sentiment. Today, I'm looking at the dollar-yen pair, which didn't do as badly as you'd think and bounced back off the pivot level of 106.45 on Wednesday while remaining below the Ichimoku cloud, stroking its lower band on the daily chart. The future Ichimoku cloud has turned bearish while moving up. So it looks like we may be in, in it for another round of range trade, capped at 107 and 109 in the medium term. Are you bullish on the dollar yen pair or do you think it will break below the 106 level soon? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tignal YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates next week.